If you're already using Microsoft Office in your organization, I want to share with you 10 reasons why you need Microsoft Office 365. Number one, new apps. The traditional Office package came as software you installed on each user's computer. It included core Office apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Office 365 goes beyond those core applications and adds Skype for Business, OneDrive for Business, Microsoft Teams, Yammer, and SharePoint. It also includes a host of enhanced services such as Delve, Power BI, Sway, Stream, Planner, flow, and forms. All these additional tools make Office 365 more powerful than the old version of Microsoft Office. Number two, portability. Office 365 can be installed locally as it has traditionally, but you can run online versions of all the Office applications as well. Each user is given access to office.com using their Active Directory credentials. From this portal, you can access mail, contacts, your calendar, or create and edit documents online for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other apps. The online capability gives you mobility. You can use it anywhere you want to go. Number three, licensing. You get 15 licenses per user. Each user has up to five phone, five tablet, and five PC or Mac installs available. This is intentional to allow access to Office applications anytime, anywhere. With one valid enterprise license, you can install Office 365 at work, at home, and on your mobile devices. The user or your IT admin can manage these installs, and when a license is removed, the applications are deactivated on those devices as well. If you want to install Office on your home computer, as an example, you just log into the portal from your home computer. Once you're there, you can click the Install Office apps and select Office 2016 from the list. This will run an installation file and it will load all of the Office apps on your home computer so that you can access the shared content and files from your work. To install on a mobile device, choose Other Install Options and select Phone and Tablet from the menu. Select the type of phone or tablet that you want to install to and down below, click Get Apps. This gives you a choice to enter your email address or phone number and send it. When you send it to your phone as a text, you click on the link and it downloads all of the mobile applications for your cell phone. Your mobile apps will have access to the same email and files that you have at work or at home. Number four, sharing. Sharing with other users is a cornerstone of Office 365 online. All the apps are designed to allow you to share documents both internally and externally. You can even work on documents live and see other users' edits in real time. Just make sure you're using the Excel online version or the Word or PowerPoint or other app online. And you can click the Share button to enter the name of somebody's email address that you want to share to within your organization. You can also send them a copy of the link or attach this as an Outlook email and send it to them that way. Once they access that file, they'll be accessing the same file that you're sharing. Number five, Admin Center. IT support for Office 365 is handled through the Admin Center. As an admin, you can add and remove users, grant licenses to users, manage groups, handle billing information, Submit support tickets directly to Microsoft. Manage security settings. View report statistics and check reports on security and compliance. And look at the health dashboard to see how Office 365 apps and connectivity is working. To see a more detailed walkthrough of the Admin Center, click on the suggested video. Number six, security. Office 365 has award-winning security built in. It is the best on the market. In addition to malware and spam filtering, you can enable protection using data loss prevention, multi-factor authentication, advanced threat protection, safe link, audit logging, 
and monitor all these threats from the Threat Management Dashboard. Microsoft provides all these tools built in with your Office 365 licensing, and it is often much more secure than what you can implement on-premise in your own environment. Number seven, reduced risk. Your Office 365 environment is hosted in the cloud using Azure. Microsoft handles all data center requirements. Microsoft patches servers automatically, thus taking the load away from your IT staff. Active Directory is synced from your on-premise servers to Azure and is available even if your on-premise Active Directory is unreachable. You no longer need to build the redundancy in your own on-premise environment. It is managed for you in the cloud. You can create secondary DR sites in Azure to protect your data and online services remain even when a localized event may disrupt your internet connectivity. All these features reduce your risk to disruption and data loss. Number eight, storage. Office 365 gives you plenty of storage capacity for files. OneDrive provides up to five terabytes of storage per user, depending on your enterprise license. Your IT staff will love the fact that they no longer need to manage this storage space locally. When a user account is disabled, files can be archived or they will automatically be removed after 30 days. And because those files are stored in the cloud, you don't have to worry about losing data if your laptop is damaged or misplaced. Number nine, automated updates. You no longer need to install updates on each machine or push out updates using group policy, system center configuration manager, or similar management tools. All Office 365 updates are automatic, just like Windows updates. As an admin, you can choose to set up users on the standard release or on a targeted release. Most companies set up all users on standard release and then IT staff on the targeted release so that they have a chance to test the new features before general rollout to the rest of the organization. Standard release is usually a few months behind targeted release. Either way, your applications stay current without intervention, and users can continue to run Office applications while updates are installing in the background. Number 10, user self-management. With on-premise file storage and Exchange servers, everything must be maintained by your IT team. Shared file locations, email distribution lists, archiving, and security groups must be created and maintained directly by IT. With Office 365, this functionality can be self-managed. It shifts the convenience and the responsibility to the user. Users can create groups, assign members, set up teams, all without requesting these services from IT. I've just shared 10 reasons why you need Office 365 in your corporate environment. If you're currently using Office 365 or plan to in the near future, you may be interested in looking at the top tips and tricks videos for all of the Office 365 applications. I'll provide the link at the end of this video. Check it out. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.